please welcome my dear friend, uh, Nicole Buchanan, everybody. Hey, Nicole! How many times have you had sex with your Rob sex doll? I mean, who's counting at this point? I just know that it gets Gary's got a hard time deciding what counts as sex, you know, like where that line is from Gary, because mm -hmm. Gary's a sensual being, so everything he does is kind of sex. They right. said they said to fill the base with liquid, and now I can't lift it through the nose. Nicole, uh, you're in a, an apparent no smoking zone um, in, a, in what looks like a rose garden. Inside the house, you can smoke outside the house. You <laughs> can't smoke inside the house. Are you quarantined with an oxygen tank by any chance? When was the last time you were at, at someone's house where they were smoking inside? My grandpa used to do it. No one more recently? I don't know a lot of people with houses. That's yeah, oh, I guess, yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's houses. That's a luxury these days. Home, I guess, I, 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 which is wherever you hang your hat. More of a Get patio out. smoking situation <laughs> or yeah. stand uh, outside yeah. my building. I will say, do you guys just not guest on a lot of podcasts? Every time I've been indoors with people smoking for the past five years has been uh, being a guest on someone's podcast. And they let you and, smoke uh, inside? I don't smoke, I, I, and I don't like that they're smoking inside, but- Rob's an avid too. member of the um, Truth Campaign from the, the late 90s. Tobacco is wacko if you're a teen. There yeah, it is. It makes sense, like the two people at the bottom of like, like scum of the earth are, are smokers and podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of overlap. Makes sense. I just uh, eat these pieces. By all means. That's um, my vice. <laughs> yeah. You've been on for television, the... uh, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, I looked fat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, on a do scale... you think that or are you just basing, basing that on YouTube? No, I'm serious. I, uh, I started dating this guy and he saw me on the show before he saw me in person and he was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Were you wearing like 17 coats? And I was like, no. So on a scale of one to Rob, you were pretty Rob. <laughs> I was you and Rob. Okay. Beard included. I, are you still dating this guy? I'm a sturdy woman, yes. All right, cool. How, has, is, that seems like a bad omen to me. I <laughs> and about to wear 17 coats. <laughs> You yeah. definitely don't want to open with that on the date. Yeah. Like, you used to be a lot fatter, huh? I well, like your you eyes. Know, it started off as not a dating situation and then turned into a dating situation. Oh, yeah. I've had that happen before. So, like, you know when you say something to a girl because you're like, ah, I'm never going to fuck her. And then you do. And then you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that thing. <laughs> you're not fucking her. And she can bring it up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, Rob, Rob's been on some dating apps, uh, and, and, sure. and some of the things I think I trolled, I wrote some of your dating profile with you. I think it's pretty good. I think my dating app is really what good. What does it say? Uh, I'll read you some of it. At one point I was trying to prove to a friend how little game girls needed on, on dating apps. And so I made yeah. my bio, fuck you. And, um, <laughs> still got just as many matches. <laughs> well, you're that, a you're that a very makes total sense to me. You're yeah. a becoming young lady, uh, and you're yeah. you're like Britney Spears and Crossroads. Oh, yeah. You're uh, not a girl, not yet a woman. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> and, and Gary, you are like Ralph Macchio. Yeah, Crossroads. Yeah. Look at this outfit. This is kind of like a, I'm wearing like a schoolgirl outfit. So I am kind of like Britney Spears in Crossroads right now. See, I nailed it. I know my Spears. Well, Let me read you a little bit of this, and you guys can tell me if you think this is good. So this is my uh, my about me. Manic pixie dream middle aged man. Um, <laughs> American humorist. That's the worst part, obviously. Uh, if I'm actually trying to meet people on the app, I'll edit that part out. Um, <laughs> AMC Stubbs A-list member, so if we go to the movies, my ticket is free. Hate small talk, only like yelling and screaming. Sapiosexuals, swipe left. Dumb dumb sexual, swipe whatever the other direction from left is. Fluent and passive aggression. Parent to two fur babies. These balls. 
<laughs> big, big pharma, Amazon spokesboy, emotionally unavailable, non-college educated, vegan, 5'4", InstaBot model, Twitter hot take influencer, uh, Insta Twitter Venmo uh, at Rob Crane. So that's, that's, that's it. I think it's pretty yeah, good. I love, you. I love that. Did that get you any tail? Uh, it's, it's, I, I do all right. Yeah. Cool. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've always wondered what the opposite of sapiosexual was. It's dumb, dumb sexual. Yeah. Dumb, dumb sexual. I'm definitely that. I love, I love a good oh, dummy. Oh, yeah. I love a good hot dummy with a big old dick. Is there ever a point where someone's too dumb, Nicole? Um, well, I mean, like, <laughs> if they're so dumb, it's to the point where, like, it would be considered, like, a crime if I had sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good bar to set. <laughs> Just my past Forrest Gump. I would have thought Forrest Gump. I feel like that's upsetting <laughs> to know why you flinched when I gave you a hug the other day. <laughs> um, Nicole Could has- Could also be the pandemic. Yeah. This is true. Uh, Nicole, you've written and been in writer's rooms with tons of people. Uh, you've uh, had many three ways all over the world. There's a lot of things about you um, that uh, I personally uh, love. I helped jumpstart your Prius the other day. You're welcome. You did. Oh, you're such an angel. That was great. And then it uh, died again because you turned it off. Yeah, and then I screwed it. And then I fixed it. And I fixed it again. You fixed it again. Um, so uh, I'm a fixer. I've also, that's the one, like one of the main things I've done. The only things I've done when I've left my house during this quarantine is I've jumped a friend's car twice. Same there point. it is. Um, you're a hero you're all heroes we're all yeah. we're all little heroes that's what, that's what we're here to talk about is what heroes <laughs> the two of us are <laughs> nicole hashtag has, not all men you know what you i'm guys saying you could never be my type because you know how to jump start a car <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were too smart i'm not a smart man but i know what love is jenny uh, <laughs> uh let me let me uh uh byron allen this because i don't want any any i don't want any Everybody watching, I am not going to pretend that I am not setting someone up for a joke. You understand? <laughs> we are well, not going to. The fun part is I don't even know what joke you're setting exactly. up. Exactly. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna it tell you what I don't even like. It and that's that's my, that's on me. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the fun part. And you fucking owe me. Um. So uh uh, I think one of my my favorite. If I if I am to request a joke, something that I do tell to friends. Uh, uh, say Nicole, uh, uh, have you heard about these, uh, these, these strip clubs, these strip clubs in America? I would be a stripper, you know, like I, I got it all going on, but only in America because like in Canada, they're throwing, like here we have dollar bills in Canada, they're throwing coins at these bitches. <laughs> yeah. Toonies. That's great. Yeah. They're throwing loonies and toonies at their tits. It's insane. If you're a stripper in America and you come home with a bunch of bruises, you're in a bad situation. A stripper in Canada, you're a top earner, bitch. <laughs> I love that joke. God damn it. I love any joke that makes me immediately be like, search that on the internet later. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. It's even part of the joke, but I heard, because my friend was telling me, because he's from Canada, and they'll like put like cards, like they'll lay down and put cards on their tits and like whatever. And they'll just like chuck the coins to try and get the cards off of the women. <laughs> like that's the game they play. I feel like that make because I feel like some assholes go to strip clubs and just kind of like, you know, they don't they don't throw that much up there, but I feel like that's an incentive is getting to to throw loonies and toonies. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds fun to do. It's fun to say, really. Do you think there's a Canadian strip club called Loonies, Toonies, and Boobies? <laughs> if there isn't, I know what we're doing after this. Um, Loonies, booties, yeah, what, what would some other good good uh, Canadian strip club names be? Not the just trappers. Syrup, the fur trappers. <laughs> um, fur traders, maybe. Uh, Canuckers. <laughs> I feel like the dog sled could be for the uglier of the fair. You know, because there's outlets for everybody. <laughs> you think there are a lot of strip clubs that are advertising that that their employees are ugly? I mean, you think there are any businesses that are advertising that. Uh, have that. you been to an Applebee's really? lately? Applebee's doesn't. <laughs> Imagine it. I would go to Applebee's if they were like, "We have the ugliest waitresses in town." <laughs> Wait, 
wait. I swear to God, I saw a strip club once and it said like, I think it was called like seven hot girls and one ugly one or something like that. Uh, yeah. How do I audition for that role? <laughs> that sounds like the title of a sitcom that like only did a half season. <laughs> Fox really kind of chased two guys and a girl in a pizza place with that one. Dude, actually, I think that's like a really great idea. They should have a restaurant, but it's only like fat dudes with their shirts off. <laughs> And it's called movies. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right. Look, I don't know if this uh, this show is gonna be successful, but we mm. gotta get uh, right after quarantine's uh, over. We're opening movies. To to answer your question, it won't be, but we will definitely uh, get into a restaurant venture. And if anyone hasn't seen you uh, uh, eviscerate uh, 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 people in roast battle, I highly recommend it. Uh, always. Yeah. Type my name into YouTube, you'll see all sorts of things. Uh, me roasting a, a guy with cerebral palsy, me roasting a transgender woman. It's all there. Could you turn it on, Rob, and see what, like, is there anything that just comes to mind when you look at him? Yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do full form jokes, but what would you attack? What about me would you, would be the first thing that you'd just- I don't know, you're just such a chiseled um, god of a man. I really can't tell you. Yeah, I'll often call him the Don. <laughs> Yeah, uh, people say, yeah, I'm, an, I'm yeah. a bit of an Adonis. Yeah. You look like the Dezeki's guy who lost his job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the most interesting man in this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a cowboy who's afraid of the horses. That's what you look like right now. <laughs> like you just can't get on them. He's like, hey, look at that. I'll get on the next one, that's where you guys go. Just got back from the doctor. Turns out I'm allergic to horses. That's why I've been <laughs> sneezing so dang much. Could, to be to be fair, Nicole, I mean, can you say anything about me that's uh, you know, a little little roasty? No, you're also an adult. I mean, like you're the two most gorgeous men on the planet. How could I even first of all, okay. What? And also Tommy is over here, is also very, very also very handsome. You, yeah, Flesh well, you, you do look like the, the prospector from Toy Story 2. Um, <laughs> and uh, Gary, man, you jump-started my car the other day, so you're just such an angel. I don't know what I could- Go ahead, give it, give it, give it a rip. Give it a, give, give it a whirl. All right, um, you look like uh, your first word, you look like your first words on a date are, you should smile more. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> with the fire we're never gonna talk again after this um i i would have pre-written stuff if i knew you were gonna put me on the spot like that gary nicole buchanan okay oh, thank you so much you can follow me at nicole buchanan on instagram and twitter that's b-e-c-a-n-n-o-n -N -N. i like that movie <laughs> i disagree gary